Okay, got a new project in here. 96 Ford F-250. Uh, nice truck. What I know we're gonna do, we're gonna be putting a patch panel in this quarter panel. We're not doing a whole lot to this thing. We're gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna take these headlights out, sand them down, make them look a little better. If you notice, uh, the bumper's kinda tilted down. We're gonna do that. Hopefully this will be in and out of here relatively quick. Again, nice truck, old school style. This thing sounds nice too. Let's see if we can let you listen to her here. Looking at this uh, new project, I went around it and um, looks like we're gonna be putting uh, patch panels on both quarter panels and we got some uh, dents, I've marked those. Uh, nothing, nothing real major, but uh, we're not getting into the cab or anything. So we're gonna try and get all of these dents. We're gonna start on it today. I'll try and keep you posted as we move along. I haven't marked the dents in this side, but we're gonna be putting a patch panel in this side as well. And it's got a few, few dents, typical truck stuff down the side of it. But uh, follow along as we get this project done. Well, we got started on our day. We got the Bean Boy here and Troy. Getting the dents fixed. Let's see what we got on the other side here. Oh, yes. Where's your, where's your helpers at? You know where they are. I know where they are. All right. I'll give you an update on this uh, 96 F-250. Um, the students, they got repairing the dents well underway. And we knew this was rusty when we started. Um, I hadn't ordered the parts. That's, I know this kind of seems a little backwards to be doing the body work, but I hadn't had a chance to order the parts. But I had one of my students uh, do a little exploratory cutting on it yesterday. And it looks like we're gonna need the, uh, well, no, we are. We're gonna need the inner as well. So I'm getting ready to order those. We'll go around to the other side and uh, got a few dents in this side. And I think this side we're gonna clean up and just patch up as far as the inner goes. But we are gonna need the outer. But um, just a little update. Okay, while well, it's quiet guys, I um, got my patch panels for this thing. Um, just cause it's gonna be noisy when everybody gets in here. So I was trying to explain it. The patch panel comes all the way up to this line, but we're gonna we're gonna cut this out at this line. We have a new cab or uh, inner. We'll be putting that in too. Okay, here we got we got Deegan here, and Troy. They got that bumper trued up. So what do you say, Ron? Neil's like, all right. We got uh, Lexi and Michaela here getting ready to uh, clear these lights. They've already sanded them with 500. Go for it. There you go. All right, there you go. There they are, look at them. Whatever, them boys are hard at it. Playing, are they playing Tetris or Minecraft? There we go. All right. Now. Number two. One more down the bottom, yeah. They go all the way around it. There you go. Alright. Troy got our uh, got our inner patch welded in there. We got we got Eli and Lance, I think you know them from other videos. Well, mainly Lance. Eli, here's his support equipment, basically. Um, they're cutting this out, as you can see, and we'll push it in. It ends up being flush. You put in tack, 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 and then we'll come back and fill in between the tacks. But this metal's too thin, it would warp. 
So take it away, Lance. There you go. All right, let's see what we got. Go. 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 Okay, well, it's quiet in here. Again, with all my videos, you know, they're all chopped up. I'm a school teacher here. I just kind of film in between. What's going on here is the, in the clip you just saw, probably, depending on where I put it, I had Lance and Eli, they were spot welding this thing, or tack welding, every, you know, inch or so. And at, what we've been doing is we've been cutting right down here as we go and we push it in and that allows that to be totally flush and butt welded. When we're done, we'll be able to reach in there and pull out, if you can imagine, there's a little strip. Now I'll go around the other side and show you. Okay, we're around to the other side. With their spot welding, imagine there's a line right there and that's where they're spot welding. We're cutting right here as we go and it's tack welding it. So as you can imagine, this piece here is gonna be flopping in here. Well, we can reach up, we can reach up through here and pull it out. So it's kind of, it, we call it a cutting butt is what it is because you're cutting it and butt welding it together. Anybody can just overlap it. See, that's what that is now. It's just overlapped and weld that up. That's real easy to weld, it's real easy to do, but there's always gonna be a hump and it's just not the right way to do it. Butt welding is the right way to do it. So today they're gonna end up cutting this. They'll push all this flat and it end up being totally flush like that. Now what's gonna happen is, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch him doing it, but a couple of my sophomores today are gonna to be, let me get in here. They're gonna be filling in. So they'll, they'll put a little, another little, little tack weld right there. They'll come over here, put another little tack weld. Come over here, put another little tack weld. Put another little tack weld. So on, and they'll keep doing that so we don't warp this panel up. And as they get down, then they'll go right next to that one and put another one and put another one and put another one. Then we'll grind it and any little holes we will fill up. There is a lot that goes into that. So that's what's going on with this old Ford. Deegan getting her welded up here. I swear I've got almost everybody in the class working on this thing. Now I got Coleman and Peyton. We're getting this side taped up for primer. Uh, we'll have to put a little bit of self etching primer on these bare metal spots. We'll bag the whole truck for overspray. I'm sure we'll have to fix a few things, but uh, we want to at least get her sealed up. Okay. We got the, that FT50. We got it in the prep station today and we cleared the uh, quarter panel. We, I know we got to block it and reprime it and everything but there was a ton of body work done to it. And at some point you just have to prime it and see what you got. Um, and as you can see, I'm gonna spray a guy coat on here. Um, yes, there are some flaws, but we're gonna block it out, we'll find them. But all in all, it looks pretty good. Um, we'll go around to the other side here. The other side, this Friday, by the way, guys, not that that matters, but it's gonna, we'll have to move it Monday. This side was all welded in, as you can see, they started the mud work on there. And you can also see that some people are a little better than others at applying body filler. But that's how you learn, that's how you get better. Um, so anyway, I'm probably gonna wrap this up right here and make this like a two or three part video because this job ended up getting a whole lot bigger than what we anticipated when we brought it in here. But anyway, thanks for watching again. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. Let these kids know you're, in, you're enjoying watching them learn. Thanks.